Okay, so it looks like you're going through some kind of temporary separation at the moment. And it seems very karmic. It seems like, uh, you know, this was something uh, that was um, meant to happen. Uh, so you have been uh, looking for happiness. So this has been on your mind. Uh, but whatever's been going on, uh, you know, uh, it, it seems almost as though these are events that are beyond your control. So it seems like that relationship that you had was with an old flame, somebody that you used to know in the past. And you've, all, you've been longing for something better, though, uh, even though you have had that relationship. So you have had that longing for something better right now. And maybe you are looking for that happiness uh, and uh, maybe things are not going the way that you want it. So you may have a plan in your mind about what you want out of life and maybe this particular relationship was not something that was providing it. You need to hang in there. So, uh, you know, things will improve, uh, but just hang in there. And you need to get some advice from a friend or somebody who's very supportive to get you through the situation. So something's happened uh, within this relationship uh, that has caused some kind of temporary situation. And you need to just, you know, hang in there and be a bit positive and get some advice from a friend uh, to get you through that situation. So these are the energies within that two weeks. So uh, you've got the Four of Cups over here, and this is an offer coming in for you, uh, or has been an offer that has just come in, or will be coming in uh, for you. So somebody uh, who is very, um, uh, it could be a water sign person, uh, in the, the sense of being um, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces, because this is the Cups cards. And, um, you know, you are very independent. You've been, you know, getting on with things yourself, um, you know, relying on your own intuition to get things going, uh, you know, being very self-sufficient, if you like. And this person has come in with this emotional offer. So maybe somebody's asked you out, or there is this, uh, you know, a chance of a relationship. Um, that has come in for you. So some kind of offer that you have to consider. So what's going on for you? Um, it looks like the relationship that you have been in previously uh, was uh, one that you made a lot of sacrifices for. Uh, you've got this um, Knight of Swords, uh, sorry, this Page of Swords over here. Now the Page of Swords is also about deception, lies, being betrayed, so maybe that person that you were uh, involved in was uh, not very honest with you at all. And, you know, things have come to light. You can see this person's holding this candle over here. Uh, so things have come to light. And maybe this is why you have severed that relationship. Because it was something that was, uh, you know, this person went behind your back and did a lot of things and you were not happy about it. There was also a lot of arguments. So maybe this person was involved in um, uh, other affairs or uh, involved with other people. And this has, had, you know, this caused a lot of um problems within that relationship there was a lot of arguments and fighting and maybe this person was not very faithful at all to you um you know and uh this is why and you were making all these sacrifices and now this uh all their infidelity has come to light uh, and you're having to deal with that at this particular moment so um in the past year you know you you seem to have ended uh an old that old, that relationship and you know starting uh afresh starting anew this is an ace of cups coming in for you for the last year so uh it seems like you know you're moving on uh you've let go of that old relationship it came to an end and you've started on uh, a new journey not necessarily not necessarily with somebody but definitely started a new cycle in your life so uh, let you've let go of the old and you're starting the new again so you've got this uh, king of cups over here which is talking about you know receiving some kind of support so you may have asked somebody for some advice some help uh some support with this king of cups uh, somebody that you can rely on, somebody that's allowing you to center yourself and get your balance back after going through a very difficult situation. And this has brought into question a lot about your belief system. So you, uh, you know, it looks like you are questioning, uh, whatever you used to believe in and you're letting go of old, uh, ideas and old belief systems. So you are evolving right now into something different. So you've gotten a new idea or a new, um, vision of life with this 
uh, Ace of Cups. Something brand new has come in for you on the emotional front. You've changed quite a bit and you're even, uh, you know, addressing your spirituality or asking, you know, whether or not those traditional beliefs are serving you as well. So that's been playing on your mind, you know, your belief system. Now, that relationship itself, you've got that five of uh, pentacles over here, and um, it seems like, uh, you know, maybe you were very codependent within that relationship in itself. Uh, it was a relationship that caused a lot of loss for you. It could be emotional loss, it could have been financial loss, but you definitely felt very isolated, uh, let down. There might have been even illness that was associated with uh, that breakup due to stress illnesses, uh, you know, and this is maybe the reason why you've got this King of Cups over here where you've needed some kind of uh, emotional support. It could have been professional support, so you could have been uh, going to a counselor or somebody that helped you get through that situation. You were very codependent, very dependent on that person to do things for you, and when they left, it felt like, uh, you know, your world um, had, um, you know, uh, caved in. Uh, so, you know, you, you are dealing with that loss right now, that, uh, you know, uh, emotional loss as well as financial loss as well. So what's happening with you? You've got the sun card over here. So you are healing from whatever situation you're going through. This is getting better, getting your health and vitality back and getting a more positive attitude to what is going on. Uh, you're being more optimistic about dealing with the situation right now. You are still spending a lot of time by yourself, isolating yourself. Uh, maybe you have, uh, this is about studying, uh, you know, this is the high priestess card. So, uh, you know, um, maybe a lot of secrets are being revealed to you about what really happened in that situation. You know, this this lies and deception that was brought in with this uh, page of uh, um, swords is now being revealed to you. So, um you know, you are addressing those issues right now, but spending a lot of time by yourself, doing a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching with this uh, um, um, high priestess card, um, you know, and uh, keeping, trying to be as unemotional as possible as well. You can see she's wearing this blue. Uh, it's a car, you know, it's a color for hope, but it's also a color of being disconnected. Uh, from the world itself. So you, you know, you've disconnected a little bit with your emotions and you're trying to find the answers as to what happened and why you went through this particular situation. Now, you, your hopes and fears, you've got this eight of pentacles over here. So you want a relationship that's going to be very financially, um, viable. It's going to be a very supportive person that's going to be there. And you want that love to come in where this person makes you laugh, makes you happy. And maybe you want to travel with this person and you're willing to do the work for it. So that's in your hopes and fears. So going into the future, you've got the Fool card over here, the Chariot and uh, the Knight of Cups. So with the full card, it's starting something brand new. So you've ended that cycle. You are going to be able to recover from the situation and this loss, and you're going to be able to move forward. And you're going to be very enthusiastic about it. You are quite enthusiastic about moving forward in life and getting over the situation. So it looks like a brand new cycle beginning for you. You've ended an old uh, cycle and you're now going to uh, start afresh. And there's a lot of hope. You've got this dove over here all these birds. There's, you might also be communicating with a lot of people as well. So you might be, um, you know, uh, trying maybe internet dating or trying some kind of dating site maybe, um, or meeting a lot of people as well with this full card. So you are starting afresh. You're, you are opening your options up and you're, you're ready to do that now. You have, you, you know, you will, if you haven't already started doing it, you will start doing that. You've got the chariot card over here. So this is looking for a relationship that is a very, you know, long-term, stable, uh, you know, that is very grounded. And that is what you're looking for. You're also looking for that caring uh, relationship where somebody allows you, you know, takes care of you, if you like, in that. So this is what is coming in with the chariot card. It looks like some kind of stable relationship is going to be coming your way soon. Because there is a the Knight of Cups of you, so somebody making an offer to you. So this is, uh, you know, this person is a bit of a dreamer as well. Uh, they might be making promises. So you know, this is something to also watch out for that they might 
uh, initially make you know uh, promises that are larger than life so you know they're trying to impress you uh, so just be aware of that you know uh, you need to be very realistic when getting to a relationship with this person uh, and you know think carefully about it don't jump into things uh, but you know it seems like this person might be offering you some kind of marriage you can see that offer cup is coming in towards this um uh, chariot card so they might be offering you some kind of committed relationship uh, and you know you might be thinking that uh, maybe on your mind you're very suspicious of it you might be thinking that it's larger than life and it's not um, based in reality so it's something that you need to think about it don't jump into it the fool tends to jump into things uh, without thinking uh, so you need to carefully consider it before you do any anything uh, so you know just Hold your horses, as they say, and, uh, you know, just think very carefully because you don't want to get into something that is false since you have come out of a relationship that had a lot of lies attached to it. So, you know, watch out to see what that offer is. Is it an offer that is going to serve you or is it an offer that's going to make you unhappy in the long run? So make sure that you're considering carefully because they are offering some kind of long-term committed relationship over here, but you need to find out whether, you know, it's based in reality or is it just that they are saying the things that you want to hear. So it's very important for you to consider that relationship very clearly or very carefully before you actually make uh, any kind of big moves over here because you have been through a lot and you are getting over it. You are enthusiastic. You are optimistic. But you need to really consider very carefully before, um, you know, uh, accepting this particular offer. Uh, you know, look for any pitfalls. Uh, you don't want this person to be very controlling or you don't want them to take charge of you and you don't want to get into a relationship because the previous one seems to have had an element of codependency in it as well. So, you know, you relied on that person a lot for financial support as well as emotional support and they seem to have let you down. So you don't want to get into that kind of situation again. So just, you know, watch out. Think very carefully before you make um, big moves. So the, I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Guardian Angel Tarot. And the first one is um, the Eight of Emotions. You feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out, wait, out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or init initiate important changes do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. So it is important for you uh, to uh, do the right thing for yourself. So consider yourself first before you do anything else. And, um, you know, this is a time uh, with the age of emotions. It's You are longing for something better, longing for something new. You know, uh, the eight of emotions is like the eight of cups. You want to move away from an old situation and move into something better, into a bright future. But don't grab the first thing that comes along. Make sure that you're considering all your options before moving forward. And you've got the three of thought over here, which says loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time and you will be able to see how clearly you'll be able to see clearly how important the situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. So uh, if you're going through this heartbreak or you're still crying over what has happened, you need to be positive and you need to know that whatever sadness you're feeling or whatever unhappiness you're feeling was necessary for your uh, spiritual growth and you will be able to move away from it um, and uh, you know uh, there are people there that are going to be able to help you but you also need to forgive yourself and forgive others and uh, you know be more optimistic about what is to come for the future and really cut away the past and all you know don't dwell in the past dwell in the present so the seven of emotion is says your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It is likely that you knew which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating 
uh, so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance, and then you make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So if you have a relationship that is presenting itself to you in the form of some kind of offer, you need to ask for some um, higher guidance and find out whether or not this is the right decision for you to make, um, you know, before you jump into it. So don't just make a decision and, and go for a relationship just because you're longing to leave an old situation behind. Make sure it is something for you and it's something that's going to bring healing for you.